Hey everyone, it's been a while uh, since I last posted. It's probably been about a year, but I felt like that um, come the fall, I have a little bit more time inside. Uh, so I thought I'd kind of get through some stuff that I should have posted last year um, regarding the last project I was on and talk about a little bit about a potential new project. Um, it's a remodel, small, and then potential uh, a self-driven project that I'm kind of been working on for over the, the course of the past year. Um, I've been, you know, noodling on it for a while, but um, I've started to put some, some hours into it uh, this past year, uh, really dedicating some time to it. Uh, so, but this one is still about the Tyler Shore House and specifically the belly band detail. Um, once I was uh, trying to figure out what I want to do for that, and I came across this um, picture online, and I liked the the aspect of um, make this a little bigger. If I can, I can't. Um, anyways, I like this this detail here, um, specifically. You know, right here, I liked how it had um, a neat little treatment to the belly band. And so before um, I wanted to explore that, you know, this is kind of what we ended up with. We put the, we were using PVC there. And I actually really like the, the clean look of, of this. Um, this one has a little bit of more uh, busier look, um, but still I think it looks really good. Um, in here I thought it looked really clean and really good but we wanted to try a couple um, styles based off of that prior one um, here so one we did was um, this is just a close-up of uh, that detail uh, one we did was a, a, a line here where we did two or a one line and though it looked okay um, I would say that uh, one of the problems we will run into because these are, I don't know, these are six feet probably, I think was what these were. Once you start trying to spread these out, um, you're going to, you know, it's going to be really hard to keep them straight. Um, and you may be able to get them straight even on install, but with the sun and heating and cooling, you may get some waviness, um, waviness to the, to the, to that strip, which was, um, I think it was a blind stop uh, is what I think that was so then we also looked at using two um, blind stops just to see what it looks like uh, looked like and um, I, I kept coming back to this simple plain um, plain design um, just liked it a lot better than um, than the double line or the single line. And so if you guys are considering maybe some options for your belly band um, to can maybe, you know, consider this guy, um, but uh, take into consideration kind of what I've kind of showed you that, that again, just because you see something doesn't always make it make it the, the right choice, even though you still might like it once you put it on, I use that term loosely, put it on in the field. Um, it just may not look right. So those are the kind of design challenges that we run into on a daily basis that I prefer to um, really mock up and see because it really makes a huge difference um, as everyone knows that does mock ups that you know it looks could look good on paper, could look good in the plan, could it look good in rendering, um, could look good in even a real life um, model or real life uh, project like this one, but once you get it up on your a specific project or your particular um, detail, it just may not work. So, just a quick video on you know kind of what be what kind of we were dealing with with our belly band, because um, I'm sure lots of other people run into what are we going to do here, you know, and how do we start to incorporate things that may be just not the standard belly band detail, and like I said, is as we tried that, um, we found that you know, the standards seemed to really work better 
um, in this case. Thanks all.